I had a boyfriend that I was mad about who began saying to me, who loves you, baby? And when he said it at first, I didn't really understand because I knew he loved me. But as one year grew into three, every time he said it, I would melt. Ever have a special thing that was between you and your lover? Did it make you melt? Did it make you feel connected and special? I'm sure it did. We all want to feel loved. It's part of being human. To be loved, you have to be open to receiving love. Is that something that you can do? It's a hard thing for a lot of my clients in the beginning. They want to be in a relationship, but they're not at the point to be able to fully receive it. I see them quickly rejecting men one after another for numerous reasons. And this tells me one of two things. Either they're not really looking for a relationship or there's a part of them that's closed off. I admit it, it can be scary. You trust a man, you open up your heart and sometimes you get hurt. So you put blinders on and you believe that the one who got away was the best that you had. And he probably was at that time. Because of this, you begin looking for patterns in relationships that worked. You seek out men who were the same type as he was. Does this one have the same career, the same type of friends, the same horoscope? Your attempt is to replicate what you once had. I've seen it before in the clients I've chosen to work with. But you're a different person now. You've grown and you've matured. But you may not be making the connection. You might not be giving the men who've reached out a chance. Are you stuck in the past? Are you afraid to move forward? The heart wants what the heart wants. And it may not come in a beautiful box with the white ribbon around it. It may not look like what you expect. It may not be with the person you expected to be with. You might have a type. Everyone has a type that feels comfortable, but love can appear in an unexpected package. It happened to me. The one man I truly loved and who truly loved me was so opposite my type. He was much bigger than anyone I ever dated. He was a different religion, and in my mind, he didn't dress or look like the way that other men I dated did. He was outside my comfort zone. He wasn't my type, but boy, did I love him. We were complete opposites, but we had similar core values. We had similar personalities. We went out for months before it occurred to me that he liked me more than just his friends. I was young and I'd recently moved to the city and I thought he was just being kind, taking me out, showing me around. There was a huge age difference, so anything more than friendship was inconceivable to me, but it happened. And it was the most amazing relationship I've ever been in. Valentine's Day was last week. And if you're like a lot of women, you spend it alone. This particular holiday was challenging if you were alone and longing for a connection. I get it, but you don't have to be alone. The right man is waiting and looking for you, just like you are looking for him. He's not giving up and he's hoping you haven't either. Just like Kathleen, for over two years, she didn't have a second date. She had been using dating apps without great results. Within six weeks of us working together, she met her man on a dating app and she's now engaged. This is an exciting new year. It's the year of the tiger. I can't promise you results like Kathleen's because there might be something even better in store for you. I can promise you 
that if you take a chance with someone unexpected, you can find happiness. If you're willing to try by putting yourself out there, you can find a connection. If you're able to open your heart, you can find love. Are you open to the unexpected? Are you desiring a connection? Are you willing to open your heart? Are you ready for love? I'm looking for a slight number of women to be VIPs in a new program I'm creating. If you'd like to learn more, reach out to me by email or comment because who loves you, baby? I know in my heart he's out there and he's searching for you. If you're choosing to use dating apps like Kathleen, then I want to encourage you to go to daretodatedifferently.com and get your free dating tips because you don't have to do it alone. You can do like Kathleen did and be in a loving, connected relationship so much sooner than you think. If you're ready to get support now, let's connect because I want you to be in a happy, loving relationship and I wanna help you get there. Go to daretodatedifferently.com and get your free dating app tips. You'll also get free, to, free checklists. There's two of them and it will help you attract the right one that much quicker.